Hey guys, Dan here from Your Guitar Academy and welcome back to this Angus Young course. And now we're going to be taking two more licks and once again, we're really dialing into his rhythm skills when it comes to lead. So you can tap your foot through all of these. We're working with loads of double stops to really add more of that rhythmical groove to the sound, okay? Remember that Angus Young at his very core is, is basically a blues player uh, that plays more heavy duty kind of rock kind of stuff. So a lot of these ideas come from the blues setting as well. So you're gonna hear a little bit of that Muddy Waters, Johnny Hooker style stuff here within this Angus Young playing, okay? So let's get down to this, pick up your guitar and let's get started. If you're just joining us in this course then please do head on over to the website where you'll find the full write-up of everything absolutely free that includes the fretboard diagrams that includes all the tab and basically everything you need to really master each lesson now as well as that if you're watching us here on YouTube please do like and subscribe and leave us a comment we love hearing back from you guys and very happy to answer any questions that you might have okay so the two licks that we're gonna be doing go like this <laughs> Let's just slow those down and we'll start with the first lick. Okay, so that's the first one that we're going to be doing and we're still in that pentatonic box one. Haven't left that bad boy yet. So we're still working around that pentatonic box. And now what we're going to be doing is kind of this kind of muddy water style kind of back and forth. Again, really focusing in on the groove aspect of this. Now, um, just so you know, it kind of starts on the off beat. So it doesn't start on the first beat. It's like one. Okay, so it just comes in on the off beat. And again, like I said before, putting these things in slightly different positions on the beat can make all the difference. So if you start that lick on the off beat, one. Sounds like that. If you start it on the beat, you know, it sounds completely different. So the placement on the beat can make all the difference when it comes to your own soloing, okay? So we kind of learn this by using licks like this. Now, all I'm doing here is I'm going from the 14th fret, sliding in, then I'm gonna to go to the 12th fret, back to the 14th fret. Then I'm gonna double hit the 14th fret on the G and the B string. Back to the 14th fret and then double hit the 12s. And we just gotta check that tuning once again. Always be aware of the tuning, especially when you're, when you're playing with this much gain, with this much distortion. Um, Now you're using your third finger here as a bit of a pivot finger. If you watch this third finger. You know, I'm doubling up on the G and the B string before rolling back down to the D string and then hitting the double 12 with my first finger. And I want to make sure that I do alternate picking through that. So down, up, down, down, up. Try and make sure that you do get a downstroke on those double hits because that's going to really sound more aggressive. Okay. And then you're going to come back to the 14th fret on the G string and do this bend. Okay. So you're probably familiar with this. All we're doing is we're taking the, the uh, 14th fret on the G string, bending up a whole tone and then grabbing the little finger on the B string and then back to the 12th fret, uh, sorry, the 14th fret on the G string. Okay, so we get like this, okay? Now, an extra part of that there is that, well, there's two things to consider there, really. Firstly, let's say, you've got to match the two notes, you've got to match it and get them to blend together. So we want like that. We don't want 
We don't want the kind of separation of the note. That might be a really good thing for another solo, but in this instance, we want that kind of blend, that dirty sound. We want that kind of sound where they're ringing into each other and they're just ever so slightly dissonant, especially as that bend slightly drops. That's the sound we want, okay? You can then add the final cherry on top, which is the vibrato. Okay, that really gives you that Angus Young feeling. But, like I said before, that is the cherry on top. That is the hardest part, okay? And something we are gonna do later on in the course anyway, all right? So, the first lick there, lick number uh, five is... And if we just do that with a, with a drum beat for a second, so if we play that drum beat... move on to lick number six, which goes like this. Okay, so then, let's take you through this. We kind of back down to that pentatonic box four. Lovely box, one of my favorites. You can do a lot of this lick up in box one, but I like it, I prefer it more in box four. It also gives you that little bit more like, Okay, I've moved box now, I've got a few more options, and it kind of freshens up the sound a little bit, I think, personally. So, we're gonna start with this, with this attack. So we're gonna hit the uh, seventh fret and the eighth fret on the E and the B string. And we're gonna really go for this kind of dissonant sound here. So we're gonna take the B string, we're gonna bend it up a quarter bend. So same thing, it's that bluesy curl that we talked about in the previous lessons. Um, but now we're also combining it with a pretty solid you know, B note there. So we get... We really want to get that sound like, remember with the bluesy curls? It goes up until it starts to change. So we do the same thing here. And we resolve it quickly. By doing the resolve, the tension is absolutely acceptable. We can all accept a little bit of tension as long as it's resolved at the end of it. Right? Pretty good metaphor for life, isn't it? <laughs> and then we're gonna come back to that eight and do the same bluesy curl, but this time twice, and without the high E string. So we get... Like that. And then we're gonna go nine, seven, nine. So nice and slowly we get this. And the manipulation of those bends is what it's all about, guys. That, that's really the, the big hitter. If you do it without the manipulation of the bend and you just do the single notes, it sounds okay. With the manipulation, we're really making something happen, something very vocal, something very aggressive, and it just sounds better. Okay, so that's our aim for the first part of that lick. Then we're gonna jump into this. Okay. So here, same thing as we kind of did down here, we're gonna take the um, tenth fret, bend it up a full tone, and grab that kind of pedal note there. Okay, so again, we're kind of letting these two notes ring into each other. So that's on the tenth fret. Then it comes back down, and you can let those notes bleed into each other, right? So. Just for a little bit. Then you're going to pull off. Then you're going to go. Okay. So just literally back down through the pentatonic. Okay, so again. Slower. You so wish you could even slide into that last note. Okay, something we can talk about a bit later on. So that whole lick there sounds like this. Okay. So one thing 
to notice when you go into that second half of it, that comes in just before the start of the bar. Okay, so you get this kind of like And just before, just before the one, you just sneak that one in on the last 16th note, okay? Just as this kind of push to the feel, okay? So just to demonstrate that, what I'll do is I'll get the drum beat up nice and slowly, that 55 BPM again. Let's play that lick number six, shall we? One, two, three, four. So there we have the two licks that you need to learn. Again, take them nice and slowly. Don't forget that all that kind of extra vibrato stuff is the cherry on the cake. You add it at the end when you're comfortable with the speed, you're comfortable with the physicality of playing, you've assigned a pentatonic shape to each lick that you're playing. All of these things should come first. The rhythm then comes next. And then finally, the icing on the cake of the vibrato. And we will be talking about it in more detail later in the course. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. If you want to start from the beginning of the whole playlist, so the whole course in order, you can click here. If you just wanna go straight to the next lesson, you can click here. As well as that, please do like and subscribe. Click that notification bell so that you can see what courses we've got coming up as they're released. And do leave a comment. Remember, we love to hear from you guys and we're very happy to answer all the questions that you've got about the courses.